Cody Brown doesn't know when to stop, having four wives is not enough for him as he reportedly wants a fifth wife. Hello viewers, welcome to the Sister Wives News Update. I hope you are well by God's grace. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. After some serious relationship drama, Cody Brown is back in the game, and rumor has it he's on the lookout for a fifth wife. As the chatter about Sister Wives facing early cancellation heats up, Thanks to Brown's recent splits from three of his wives, Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown, a source has spilled the tea that he's quietly seeking a new partner to join the family. It seems Cody's not one to dwell on the past for long. With the stakes higher than ever, fans are left wondering, what does Cody want in his next wife? Here is what's going on with Cody Brown. Cody Brown seeks a fifth wife now that everyone has left him. Cody Brown, the star now deemed as the villain of Sister Wives, has captured audiences' attention for 19 seasons of TLC reality drama. The last season, season 18, saw the Brown family splinter into pieces as three of his wives left him, largely due to his perceived favoritism towards Robin Brown, his fourth wife. Now he finds himself solely with Robin. Despite squirreling rumors about the show's potential cancellation, especially following a slow start to season 19. It seems Cody isn't ready to call it quits just yet. It seems the saga is just getting started and the drama is about to rise. Fans are excited about who this new search might lead Cody to and how she'll fit into the ever-evolving dynamics of the Brown family, which has transformed over the years from one big happy clan into a chaotic mix. Who is Sister Wives star Cody Brown's rumored girlfriend the rumor mill kicked into high gear when whispers surfaced that Kobe Brown was potentially eyeing Leah Marie Brown as a candidate for his fifth wife as per your tango. Her name even made a fleeting appearance on the Sister Wives Wikipedia page, sending fans into a frenzy of speculation and excitement. However, those tantalizing rumors soon proved to be untrue. The intrigue didn't stop there. Another wave of speculation claimed that Cody had spiritually married a woman named Bonnie Dwyer following his split from Christine as per Distractify. Yet again, these rumors didn't hold up under scrutiny. The intrigue didn't stop there. Another wave of speculation claimed that Cody had spiritually married a woman named Bonnie Dwyer following his split from Christine as per Distractify. Yet again, these rumors didn't hold up under scrutiny. As fans continue to keep a close watch on Cody's romantic life, the big question remains, who will truly capture his heart next? Will a new contender step into the spotlight or is he going to stay on one with Robin for a while? The drama surrounding the Brown family never seems to fade. Viewers are on the edge of their seats to find out what is next for them. Sister Wives Robin emotionally opens up about co-grandparenting with Christine. Always what I wanted, exclusive. Robin Brown is opening up about co-grandparenting Michaelty Brown's twin sons with Christine Brown. In a clip shared exclusively with P.U. Pell ahead of Sunday's episode of Sister Wives, Robin emotionally shares what it meant to her to meet Michaelty's sons, Asher and Ace, now 22 months, amid tensions in their family. Michaelty is the daughter of Christine and Cody Brown. Yeah, Christine was great. We just kind of co-grandparented and that's kind of always what I wanted. Robin shares in a confessional. I understand and I have to respect that she doesn't want it the same way. She adds, and I know that she was probably just making sure that she was supportive to Tommy and Mike Kelty, which I appreciate. And so it worked out. It was fine. It was great. The scene switches to Robin sitting in a car, filming herself after she left Mike Kelty and her twins. I just had to leave the twins in Avalon and Tommy and Mike Kelty, and I just don't want to go, Robin says in the video. I've had the most beautiful experience with those babies. Cody then appears on screen in a confessional sharing that the family is in a tough place at the moment. The family's in a weird place, as I guess you would expect from a divorce, he describes. The struggles that we have had have been so foreign from what our family was. It's been such a sweet experience being a part of all of this and being there at the hospital and helping taking care of the babies and getting to bond with them. Robin says, tearing up as she sits in her car. I just really love being a grandma. In last week's episode, Christine admitted that it was awkward having Robin around after her daughter gave birth. All of Robin's kids love my Kelty. She puts a lot on herself. She puts a lot of all of this on herself about bringing the family together, 
and having it be her role because she gets along great with Robin, and she gets along great with me, Christine says in a confessional. Cody and Robin are grandparents to Avalon, and they'll be grandparents for the twins, she continues. Having Robin there to me just showed that I don't know how long it's going to take for all of us to get back together again and be oak in each other's presence, Christine says, before noting, it was awkward. And it's going to be awkward for a while, and I don't know what the future looks like. We'll do it for our kids, but it's not going to happen. Anything that I want to have happen soon. Sister wives Christine Brown gushes after first date with David Woolley on show. I'm so excited. Sister Wives star Christine Brown married David Woolley one year ago, though fans are now getting to watch the early days of their romance, including her reaction to them matching on a dating app, play out on the reality show. It's crazy. I'm so excited, Christine, 53, said in a confessional after she met David, 60, in person for the first time. The moment will be documented in the Sunday, October 6, episode of Sister Wives, which was shared in a teaser clip from Us Weekly. After they spent a month talking on the dating app, Christine and David finally decided to meet in person over breakfast. The first time that I got on the app, I met David. His pictures were beautiful, she said about his profile. It was him with these eyes. And revealed that she was just as smitten when they met in person, explaining that his pictures do not do him justice and that his eyes were beautiful. Christine also shared that she accidentally told him how handsome he was the moment they met. We're walking into the restaurant and I go, I just have to tell you, I think your eyes are beautiful. Just like that, she said as she covered her eyes with embarrassment. Once they made their way to the table, David asked if he could sit on the same side as Christine. He's like, this is kind of far away. Let's get closer to each other, she said about their seating arrangement, adding they spoke about everything during the date. It went so great. Christine started dating again more than one year after she announced her split from ex-husband Cody Brown in November 2021. The former couple, who spiritually wed in 1994, share son Payton, 26, and daughters Aspen, 29, Michael T, 28, Wendlin, 22, Ysabel, 21, and Truly, 14. After confirming her romance with David in February 2023, the pair got engaged in April 2023 and tied the knot six months later. Their wedding was featured in a two-part special on TLC in January. Ahead of the special, Christine and David exclusively told In Touch that it was his idea to feature their wedding on the network. We were talking about our wedding and things like that. And then just through the discussion he's like, look you have people that have been watching you for 14 years now and they've been following your story and now you have this romance and you have everything that you wanted and I think they would appreciate watching it," Christine said at the time. After knowing that Christine means everything to her fans, David said he thought they would appreciate being included in the big day. I knew that they wanted to be part of it, and I had no problem with it, he said of their television wedding. It was different to see all the cameras and everything and all this stuff going on. I thought we were at a royal wedding, and it 